American Diabetes Association Scientific Sessions, the largest diabetes meeting in the world. I'm Anna Baker and I'll be bringing you breaking news and research from the Pennsylvania Convention Center here in Philadelphia. How well are people with type 1 diabetes faring in the United States? We've just gotten word from the most comprehensive study ever undertaken on this subject. This is the first time that researchers have a big picture sense of outcomes for people with type 1 diabetes to know what's working and where we need to improve treatment and care. Unfortunately, the data doesn't paint a very pretty picture. Researchers found that despite advances in diabetes care, most people with type 1 are not meeting the treatment targets de designated by the American Diabetes Association. In fact, a majority of adults with type 1 were overweight or obese and had elevated blood glucose levels. It was also discovered that young people with type 1 diabetes have trouble reaching their target A1C levels, especially during the teenage years. A1C is a measure of a blood person's blood glucose levels over the last two to three months. It indicates how well a treatment plan is working overall. Adults over age 50 had the lowest A1C of all the age groups, but they also had a surprising rate of severe hypoglycemia, that is low blood glucose that results in comas, seizures, and emergency room visits. And in those over age 40, 20 to 30 percent of them had diabetes-related complications. The studies also revealed some very interesting racial differences. Caucasian patients were the most likely to use an insulin pump compared to minorities, regardless of their income levels, and African Americans had the highest mean A1C compared to Caucasians. Now, what demographics might predict good blood glucose control? Researchers looked at that too, and they found several very interesting similarities. In both young people and adults, lower A1C levels were associated with more frequent self-monitoring, lower insulin dose requirements, meaning that they had less insulin resistance, and greater use of technologies like insulin pumps and continuous glucose monitoring. Also, adults with lower A1C levels were more likely to be married and have a higher socioeconomic status. Among children, lower A1C levels were associated with younger age, being Caucasian, and their parents having higher income, more education, and private health insurance. These findings emerged from five separate analyses of data from the T1D Exchange Clinic Registry, which is a collection of information from more than 25,000 volunteers nationwide. This research was made possible by the Leona M. and Harry B. Helmsley Charitable Trust, which funded the center in Tampa that established and coordinates the registry. The main takeaway here is that we need to do a better job of helping all people with type 1 better reach their treatment goals, address disparities in care, and investigate why older patients are experiencing such extreme hypoglycemia. A fascinating and complex picture of type 1 diabetes in the United States indeed. I'm Anna Baker and this has been your breaking news update from the American Diabetes Association Scientific Sessions in Philadelphia. To view this press release online, please visit the Four Media section of our website. And for the latest diabetes research and news from scientific sessions, stay tuned to diabetes.org slash breaking news.